Alright, we're continuing with the Dark Souls strength character run. I've just upgraded my axe a few times, I believe. Yeah, it's at plus three. Let's go wandering out and see if I can survive a bit. One thing I'm not planning to do is fight him right now. While it's certainly possible to kill him, it's... It's riskier than I'd like to... To put to him. I was expecting him to fall off the ledge. I've done this enough times to know that's a tree in the ground right next to me, and two of these guys can sometimes be more difficult than it's worth. My block button is still finicky enough that I shouldn't really be using it to block. Looking forward to getting that, uh, the Great Axe, when my two-hand attacks will suddenly become a lot more relevant. Uh, attempting to kindle that, but hopefully I won't be needing to use it again anytime soon. I know that's a trap, so I avoid it. This should be a little bit difficult, actually. Um, fighting the stone, the stone giants without a reliable shield. Hopefully, he doesn't block me out. I'd like to avoid killing him if I can. Stopped his spell from going off. That's refreshing. The Wolf Ring is one of my absolute favorite rings. It's 40 free poise. Granted, you have to give up a ring slot for it. But most times that seems worth it to me. Stop him that time. Oh, I you're... I feel foolish for going for this, but it's not that it's really that risky. It's just not that great. But I have this undeniable urge that if I know something is over there, I have to go grab it.
it could be a weapon that I will never use on this character. But something nags at me and I just can't leave it there. Ah, uh, you blocked me. Oh, no, you didn't. Thank you. I'm sorry I falsely accused you. One reason I like to be uh, not hollow is there's an NPC ally you can summon to help you with the the moonlight butterfly, and she's actually a really big help. Frequently, she winds up killing the boss entirely on her own, and I just take credit for it. Before I go further. Do I not have the black fire bombs? I'm me. I must have missed them. Oh well. This shouldn't be too difficult without them. Firebomb completely missed. First one at least. Yeah, see how I kicked his ass? Let me give you a bit of advice by way of embarrassing anecdote. After you grab this, don't just turn around and sprint towards the stairs. And here's why. Frequently I will hit this brick here and then try and turn to the right and fall right down in the middle. That leads all the way down to the bottom floor and it's a, a fatal fall. It will kill you every time. I cannot tell you how many times I have beaten the boss easily, and then died because I tripped over a brick. Okay, this is always a little bit risky because if I get caught, it, well, it's death. But one of my favorite armors is up here, so, and I'll probably use this one. Now I'm just going to sprint out of here. Might die up by the bonfire because these things will pursue, but... That's not too bad. Oh, not 
too bad. Blood Red Moss Clump, I hate. I have never, ever found it a useful item. Uh, I guess I was doing Endurance. That seems plausible. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start putting a couple of points towards Intelligence and a couple towards Attunement. The reason being that I use a I use one spell on my strength builds, and that's the Greater Magic Weapon, which isn't that... I With very low intelligence, it wouldn't make much difference, but there is a wand later on that um, has a really high base modifier, and uh, but doesn't get affected much by intelligence. So if you have low intelligence, it gives you a big effect regardless. And that's that's what I want with this character. Something I can do without having to be smart. You might expect that there is an embarrassing anecdote about swinging my camera around on this ledge, but actually, I've never fallen off here. And I play extremely carelessly when I'm here. So... So Darwin was wrong, is what I'm saying. Oh. Damn. This is maybe not the best weapon to try and hit him with, but that's alright. The crystal geckos will endlessly respawn whenever you enter the area again until you get it. Once you get it, it doesn't respawn. Uh, there's a bonfire coming up and a black knight, so having a bit more health is probably a good idea. Fun little exploit, he won't follow you into this cave. So, you can go ahead and save at the bonfire. I guess it's not actually saving, but you can rest at the bonfire, get all your Estus flasks back, go try and kill him, and if you're successful, you're successful. If you're not, you have another shot at it just a minute later. The Grass Crest Shield is very good. It's... Ooh, I'm bad at parrying this guy. I don't know why, but the... Yep. <laughs> For some reason, the Halberd Black Knights, I just cannot parry consistently. And I can't even begin to guess why. Some failing in my brain. But the Grass Crest Shield is its really good. It doesn't have a full 100% block. So a little bit of physical damage still comes through, but it increases the regen rate of your stamina. So it's, you know, if you wind up using two hands, which I'm going to, it's a very good shield to, to have on your back. Ah, see? Oh, I thought I had it that time. Cheesing backstabs out of this guy is always a little bit of fun, too. Oh, oh I finally got a parry. Blue Titanite Chunk. Really don't need that, but I'll take it. Why not?
I got the watchtower key from the moonlight butterfly, so I can go open up Havel's tower now. It's always good times. I wonder... I, I'm, I'm usually able to kill Havel pretty easily, but... You know, all it takes is one screw up. put this new armor to good use. It might be enough, able to absorb enough of a blow to keep me alive on the chance that that I fail to parry one of Havel's attacks. His attacks are actually extremely easy to parry though. As soon as you see his, his club swinging forward, you're set. Now that I've told you that, I'm gonna mess it up, but you won't. It seemed like the game got confused about whether I got knocked down or whether I parried. Oh, that looks smooth. And good, I have the 50%, less than 50% move speed. I'm going this way to shortcut around the, the blacksmith area again so I don't have to wander all the way back. I mean, it puts me right here, I might as well make good use of it, right? I've fallen off here before too. Also fatal. And before I go wandering down into that area, let's give myself a close bonfire. Between this armor and the, the wolf ring, I have a lot of poise right now. See, I told you it was a good idea to, to kindle this fire. Oh, I should level. Ah. One attunement slot, that's all I need. Oh, I might be able to get another stat out of... Oh, wow. <laughs> you might want to skip ahead a couple minutes. It's going to be pretty boring watching me use these. 
I'm also going to use the Moonlight Butterfly Soul. I don't need either of the magic weapons, so that's not going to do me any good. I like to equip those to the use item slots so I don't have to keep opening the inventory, if I have more than a couple of them at least. In the future, I'll try and do those after I stop recording. But before I make any progress, that way it's not eating up the time. I'm excellent. Well, <laughs> three cut down with one swipe is pretty good. I'll, I'll give myself that. I'm not afraid to toot my own horn. Sometimes you can make the dogs run themselves into the spire, which is nice. I don't want to go far enough that I trigger the thief's spawn. Not just yet, anyway. Well, hello there. Sorceress Catalyst. I may wind up using that just for a small buff, but it's probably not even worth the time. Yeah, the shield has a little bit less than the full 100%, but it's still 95% physical block, which is pretty good. Twin Humanities, of course, give you two humanity rather than one. Oh! He went into his parry animation right as I started that attack. That's bad news. Yeah, I'm gonna try and lure the dogs before the thieves. Oh, so much for that. I really like the the thieves' knives. Thieves' knives. It's called the Bandit Knife. It's a really... It, it's a difficult weapon to use well, but uh, it's, it's such a high uh, crit chance on backstabs and, and stuff like that. I'll come back to the Capra Demon in just a little bit. I like to get the bonfire that's just after this first.
when they're doing that that stance, if you hit, if you swing at them, they will parry it and counterattack. Don't you wish you could just hold down a button to parry like they do? Magic weapon. Basic magic weapon is pretty terrible, but eh, you know, I'll, I'll use it. Tune my one spell. Don't have enough to level up, but that's alright. I have a crappy sorcerer's catalyst. Let's do a quick test, see how much damage I get out of that, and then I'll go on to fight Capra Demon as well. Oop. So, 41 on the first swing, 305 on the second. Oop. Well, I need to parry somebody else. Wow, okay, that's... That's not too bad. It added 40... 46? 46 magic damage is not... Not... Bad. <laughs> and... I get this nice blue glow. When I have a better wand and a better uh, better weapon buff, it will actually be much more worth it. Uh, real quick before I forget... Oh, I can't do that yet. I was going to uh, put another weapon in my left hand because... Well, you'll see. Probably I can do it without, but I'll explain when I get there. That almost looked like I meant to clumsily dance around his arrow. Let's see if I can sneak up on him.
Okay, my hard swing does do overhead up there. It's good to have a, an attack that doesn't just swing from the right in the area coming up, since I'm going to have a wall against my right side. And having full health probably would be a good idea. He actually got up here. That's... He rarely does, but when it happens, it sucks. Rarely, I say, but it's, you know, like a 1 in 5, I'd say. And that should make all the difficult stuff done. dance just around his his max range you can usually provoke him into swinging and then get the counter attack or get yourself enough time to heal okay five flasks should i go forward into the oh hell why not I said that and then I turned around and went right up there, didn't I? Hmm. There is something that I want to do before I do this. Yes, I've run off that ledge. I'm not proud of it. Oh. Well, look at me. I'm a great big dummy. I didn't take the elevator down. Wait, does that mean I still have... Huh. I never got the Firekeeper's soul either, did I? Well, I am a great big dummy. Well, I guess I'd better use my souls. Two levels worth. Huh. Well, uh, screw it. I'm going to go down to the sewers.
<laughs> clumsiest fight of my life. Just a bit of a warning, this one that comes running down the stairs, I don't recommend locking onto him because sometimes the way he will leap at you will cause the camera to swing around and you'll go running right off this ledge. I don't know why it happens, but I've died to it probably a dozen times. I still lock on to the stupid zombie because I'm, I don't learn the lesson. Hopefully you will. Kick the dog in the face, that did so much good. Okay, I got him bugged walking against the wall, that was a good time to do that. Ha <laughs> ha! Staggered him at just the right time. Oh. Large Ember, allows you to upgrade a weapon to plus 10. Oh, that one gave me humanity. Occasionally, enemies will do that. They'll just give you a humanity active humanity, not the item humanity. For whatever reason, I can't guess. You can later talk to him at the Firelink Shrine and he will teach you Pyromancy and give you a Pyromancer's Flame. Good thing about Pyromancy is you don't have to use a stat to cast it, it's just... Uh, it's just the item. The damage is based entirely on what your pyromancy flame is at. Ooh. I got his sack. It's a completely useless piece of headgear. It's lightweight, but... It's... it's just a sack. I hate this stupid blob. I always wind up getting hit by him. 
Oh, didn't get me this time. Blob. I don't usually recommend killing most of the blobs. Oh, I do recommend killing him. Most of the blobs take more damage than they're really worth putting. It's really worth putting into them. Uh, if you have fire, they die really easily to fire. But they're also so easy to avoid that I just can't recommend it. They do drop. Um, they have a chance to drop both large titanite shards and green titanite shards. So, oh, that's right. I actually can't open that that door yet. I keep forgetting that I don't have the uh, the master's key on this this character. So I need to get the regular old sewer key to get in there. Master's key is just one of the gift items that really changes the way you play the game when you don't have it. <laughs> it's good to not have it. At least every so often, so you can remember remember what you need to do those times you don't get it. Here's a, a good example of my my absolute need to pick up every piece of loot. I already own that shield. I needed to pick it up anyway. That was the shield I started with on this guy. There's the key that opens that door. I'm gonna kill this one just because well, he'll follow me and he's very dangerous. But I'm not going to continue that path. There's nothing I really need there. And curse sucks, so... I should probably come back here, uh, not hollow, before I kill the boss, so that I can kill Kirk. Five Estus Flask? Ah, oh, I better, better go to the bonfire just in case I mess up the caster. It would not be the first time. Humanity, so I can. Kindle this fire. So now my vitality, endurance, and strength are all at 20. Uh, my intelligence will eventually have to hit 15, but no, I'm not going to do that yet. That'll be a bit of a later project. Uh, reverse hobbling. I like your style. Uh, yeah, I'll go do Kirk first. Don't want to get invaded and then lose my being alive status.
Okay. Well, come on, Kirk. What's holding up? Aha! Uh -huh. Kirk invades three times over the course of the game. He gives you quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of souls, and if you kill him all three times, you can get his armor later in the game. This is the first time he appears. Uh, both of the later times are down in the, uh, the underground areas of the game. I guess technically sewers are underground as well. But why do you just why do you have to be so pedantic? There's what I came for. Let's see. It weighs 14. That's that's kind of going to suck, I think. Uh, 32, so with a strength of... 20... 20 and 21, I should be able to... wield it? Let's see, I don't think I can yet. Yeah. So, I'll need to up my strength another point before I can equip it. Might need to throw on some, uh, some lighter weight armor as well. You jerk! Let's see. Oh, I'm getting invaded by a player now. Dagger wielding, that's alright. Well, I parried him, but. Oh, yeah, that's what he's going for. Oh, that's not so bad. So, a bit of a glitchy backstab there. Oh, and there he got me. So, see, good thing I killed Kirk first. If only I'd had the strength to wield that that great axe, that might have gone differently. Probably not. Great axe isn't a terribly good PvP weapon, but I mean it's not bad. I got all my souls back. You got my humanity back. Come on up here, guys. Gonna kill him before he gets buffed. Oh, there goes the buff. The caster that's down there will buff these guys, and then their attacks are really, really strong. So are his. See that little column of blue light around him? That's, that's how you know he's buffed. He's a wuss when it comes to taking damage. Thankful.
The buff does persist till after, till a while after he's dead, so killing him doesn't get rid of it. A large Titanite shard, that's always welcome to find. You can buy them later. But free. Free as a treat. Neighbor's car alarm going up. Adds to the ambiance. Plus 11 should be 33. That should be enough to wield it in two hands. Yeah. Uh, well. Right now. Right now I can't get away with the, the knight armor, so. I love that the running attack on this actually knocks things to the ground. If it's something that isn't, you know, a huge enemy, it will get flattened onto the ground with the hit from the running attack. That's always fun. to the head does a little more damage, but it's best not to chance it if you can help. It's better to chance it, just make sure that you're getting out of there on time. Come on. He's walking towards you, it's best not to try and walk away. You will walk yourself off a cliff. I've done it enough times to... to be very embarrassed with how I do this boss. Oh. That stuff will corrode your gear. It lowers its, uh...
lowers its durability quite a bit. At least I think that's what it does. It's been a while since I've actually checked, but I assume. Because most acid type attacks do that. Learned my lesson last time, I guess. I think I can finish him now before he jumps. Twenty-five thousand. That's pretty good for an optional boss. Makes him not especially optional. <laughs> I completely forgot to use my magic weapon buff entirely. It's all right. He has pretty high magic resistance as it is, so it wouldn't have benefited me too much. Strength up to 25. I'll do endurance and then vitality after. Uh, I think that's a pretty good place to stop. Thanks for watching.